Hi everybody, how are you? Um, I just wanted to show you this quilt that I had made um, a little while ago. Um, I have sold it and I'm going to be getting ready to mail it off um, along with another quilt I had made. Um, but I just wanted to show you, it's not really for beginners, but what we can work up to um, if, you're, if you're willing and able. Um, to to uh, bear with me how I constructed this. It's just a real pretty summery quilt. I did my flying geese. I made them um, cut them down a bit to size. We were doing the flying geese panel uh, block here, and um, it's a it's a real summery. This is like a strawberry print, and I used another little red floral, and I actually used this is more of a home deck. Um, no, it's not a home deck fabric. It's like a polished cotton, a green and blue, green and, green and white polished cotton for the backing. So this is a nice, substantial, uh, good size quilt. But what I was going to talk about, it's not for beginners, but I just wanted to show you, because um, I know there's people who aren't beginners who are watching this also. I just wanted to show you how I, how I did this. Um, it may not be the way <laughs> other people did it, but I use this there. I hope you can see it. It's called, um, it's, called, it's called A Girl's Best Friend. This, I hope you can see it. Um, can you see that? Let me, let me hold it up to, uh, I hope you can see it. Uh, you know, um, yeah, let, hold on. Let me just see if I can. No, wait a second. Yeah, just trying to hold it up. To a piece of fabric. There you go. It's called, oh my phone. Anyway, it's called um, A Girl's Best Friend and it's a diamond, it's a diamond cut, it's called Diamond Cut Template. Um, it's from June Taylor and it's a diamond shaped ruler with all sorts of markings. I don't really know what they're for. I really don't. Um, I just used it, if you can see, I took this rule, this, this template and I just cut out diamond shapes out of my red fabrics. I just cut out diamond. Now, um, I had gotten a variety of, of red fabrics, um, and then I bordered each one of these diamond plates. Now, the thing you have to be careful for when you're doing um, a, a cutting out something like this is you're going to have bias edges on the on the sides whichever side um so you have to be very careful when you're when you're um uh constructing the diamond the diamond blocks um it wasn't easy but i just wanted to show you um maybe what we can maybe maybe way along the way what we can um aspire to if you like it or not i don't know um but I liked it. I thought it was pretty. I just did. I just did two basic colors: green, white, and green, red, and white. Um, and I used this. Um, and maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I can do something small and show you. I'm not all into gadgets and gizmos and rulers. You know that. But this, I have a few of them um, I, that are awesome. I have this one, and I have um, this little one. Um, this is called. This is called the 60 degree diamond. They are super. They really are for, for um, different methods of cutting fabric. But again, that's a little bit more advanced. But I just want to show you, um, I'm, I, think that's, I think that's how you use this. I just used it as like a, as like a pattern to cut out my diamonds. And then I, I constructed this, it was called um, um, on point. You, you don't, you, it's not up and down. You, 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 you construct it. Um, across the thing. It's not an easy, uh, it is easy for a, a, a quilter who's been quilting for a while. But I just wanted to show you um, my quilt that I made with this ruler. Um, it's off to the post office now. It's nice and bright and lovely and I, I just thought you'd be interested in seeing it, how I, how I did it. And maybe one of these days as we get better and more advanced, um, you'll, be, you'll be attempting to make something like this. Maybe